Hey guys, it's Julia, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys me restoring the OEM image on my Surface Pro, which is the original Surface Pro. So I'm going to show you from start to finish what I'm going to do. So first, we got to go to Google and we got to Google Surface Recovery Image, which already came up because I've searched this before. And you're going to go to Surface Recovery Image Download. And then Basically with this, I will warn you, you guys need to have your serial number. And it looks like I have to sign in for some reason, which is kind of weird. They never used to make you sign in just to do it. I'm gonna be censoring all of this on the screen. Okay, I'm signed in now. So we have to select the surface, which um, I'm gonna say this, you having to sign in is different. I've never had to do that in the past, unless I was just already signed in, I don't know. Um, here we're going to enter the serial number for the surface, so I'm going to be entering that in right now. And once you have that entered in, you're going to click continue, and then I'm going to scroll down. And there's only one image, as you can see for mine, you can see Surface Pro, Windows 8.1. So I'm going to download our image, and as you guys will see, there's our recovery image. And I'm going to save it, and then we're going to wait for this to download, which will take a little bit of time. And then after this downloads, we're gonna actually create the USB. So I will be right back. All right, so after you get your recovery image, it'll say to create the USB recovery drive and this will tell you basically what you need to do. Um, tells you how to create it. So obviously it'll erase everything. So if I do a Windows key E, I have a blank USB drive with nothing on it. And we're just going to use that and it says we have to create a recovery drive and make sure to not check the backup system files to recovery and then you select it and let it create it. So let me do this. Hopefully this works. Last time I tried to do this, my computer said, oh, we can't do this because something's corrupt. So hopefully that doesn't happen this time because that would uh, not be good. Okay, it took a while to open, but we have it open. so. After we have this open, it says make sure to clear the backup system files to the recovery drive. So uncheck this because we don't want to back up the files from the computer you're creating it on because we have to copy them to the flash drive. And we're going to first let it create this before we copy the files. So I'll hit next. It says please wait. And it's almost going to use the wrong drive. In fact, let me actually close this and eject that so I don't accidentally make a mistake here. So let's open our recovery drive thing. That opened a lot quicker, probably because I opened it before. Uncheck this, hit next. Um, be sure you select the right drive here. I just ejected my drive just to make sure I don't accidentally overwrite it because if I would have hit next and not looked, it would have just deleted my hard drive, which would have not been fun. So F USB, yes, that's correct. Next, everything will be deleted. I have nothing on it, so I don't need to back it up. Create, and now we go. So this will create our drive. If I open this, you can see it's now named recovery and it's going to start creating it. So at this point, this shouldn't take very long. You can see it's actually going pretty quickly, but that's also because it doesn't really have to copy very many files. And it says our recovery drive is ready. So click finish. If I refresh it, you will actually see there's barely anything on here. There's like nothing here. It does have our EFI stuff though, which is needed. So it says now we double click the recovery zip and then you select all the files and copy them to the recovery drive you create, created and select replace files. So basically, let's actually just go back and click on this and let's extract all. Let it extract. This shouldn't take too long to extract. You can see we got our SWM files because that's pretty much what surfaces use when you're restoring the recovery as a .SWM. So, yeah, that's just how it works. All right, so here's our files. We're just gonna use this other one and we're gonna click recovery. And we're going to just take all this and we're going to drag it over and it should start writing our files here. Now this will take a little bit of time because this is obviously going a little bit slow for me. This flash drive isn't necessarily the fastest, however, it should work. 
So I'm just gonna let this do its thing and copy the files. All right, so now it wants to do this again. It says there's some files that are the same and it said to replace. So we're gonna go ahead and replace. And once this is done, we will be able to actually boot this on our surface. All right, so we have copied everything over, so we can close these out, which if I reopen this, by the way, you can see that it's actually written quite a bit to this, and you can see that we've used 7.66 gigs. Of course, we have 21 gigs free. This is a 32 gig flash drive. So obviously we need to, not a format, but eject so that we can unplug it from our computer. I don't know why it still showed like that, but we have it removed now. USB is pretty warm, but now it's to go ahead and boot it on our Surface. Okay guys, so I have the Surface and I'm going to plug in our USB port, which is over here. And you can see our drive shows up. Now, obviously I want to end up booting to the recovery environment because it's easier to do that way. And I did that with the Surface Pro 3. So settings, updates, recovery and we're going to go to the advanced startup so i'm going to restart now and this is honestly the easiest way to boot the usb so then we're going to go to use a device and we're going to select our usb and it should reboot and boot us straight to it so you can see that it's red because secure boot is disabled on this now it was just disabled already when i got it so i can go enable it later but I guess whoever had this last had disabled secure boot for some reason. Um, I'm not sure why, but I know on the newer surfaces, it like displays at the top like a bar, like a red bar or something, but on the older ones, it'll just make the whole screen red. And oh my goodness, the spinning dots, it looks so weird. It looks so out of place. Like they could have honestly done it better, but I think we are booting the USB. Okay, yeah, we are. So. We choose the language, so obviously we want English, United States, and then US for our keyboard layout, at least for me. And let's go to troubleshoot and we go to reset because that's how you actually do it is you reset it through the USB. So Windows 10, even though this uh, is Windows 8.1 on this USB. So we're putting Windows 8.1 on this, which honestly, I don't know if I'll keep it on 8.1 or not. Do I want to repartition it? Sure. Just remove. All ready to go. Um, this will remove your personal files and apps from your PC and restore all settings to their default to make sure your PC is plugged in. Well, obviously it is because the battery doesn't work. So let's go ahead and reset. All right, resetting your PC. I thought it's supposed to say resetting this PC. Maybe, oh, because 8.1 says your PC, that's right. Okay, so I'm going to let this go ahead and do its thing. Um, this might take a little bit because it's resetting through the USB drive, but once it's done, we should have a nice OEM Windows 8.1 installation. And like I said, who knows? Oh, it failed, I think. <laughs> what? Excuse me, what do you mean there is a problem resetting? You're supposed to work. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. There's no way. I literally just created this. Why are you being a pain? It should not be failing to reset. I don't know why it failed to reset. Maybe I did something wrong, but it should not have failed. Okay, maybe it's working on the second try. I don't know why it failed the first time. Maybe when I like told it to repartition, it like freaked out, I don't know. Seems like it's working now. So I guess I just had to do it a second time. Hopefully it doesn't fail again. But uh, when in doubt, try it a second time. Maybe you'll get lucky, maybe you won't. So if that happens to you, just try it again because it seems like it's getting further now. All right, well, I'll let this reset, and if it fails, I'll come back. If it works, I'll come back. So I guess we'll find out. 
in the next video. Okay guys, it just rebooted right now. So clearly it worked. I don't know why it failed the first time. I guess it was just being stupid, but we should now have Windows 8.1 on here and we can go through the setup and all that stuff. Obviously I'll need to do like a lot of updates and stuff on here. I'm not going to do all of that in this video because the purpose of this video is to show restoring the factory image and that's what I'm doing. So I'm not gonna go through all that process. I will obviously go through this part and is it, what is it doing? It keeps like rebooting and stuff. Like what is it doing right now? We'll have to grab the asset tag. I forgot what asset tag this is. So I'll end up having to stop the video just to look that up. But I want to obviously show the process of resetting this. Okay, so it looks like we actually got to a setup screen and it looks a lot different and I'm surprised it just like dumped us straight here. I'm gonna go quickly stop the video, grab that asset tag and come back. Okay, let's go through this. I'm gonna unplug this because we don't need this anymore. So obviously English, next, United States, all that's good. We're gonna accept our license for Windows, who reads all of this anyway, accept. Here we are in the good old Windows 8.1, guys. Let's do this thing. Um, what color do I select? I actually kind of like this blue. I think that was actually what it was set to. Um, hello, can I have my keyboard? Okay, so let's type in our name here. So it's JHL110 for this computer. Um, I'm not gonna connect to a network right now because I'd rather do that afterwards. Let's go to custom. I'll set up automatic update later because I like to set it to notify for updates on these older operating systems. So that way it doesn't just randomly update on me. I'll leave all that the same, that the same. I don't want to turn location on. I don't want name and account picture. I guess air reporting's fine and that's fine. All right, let's put our username. This setup looks different. I don't remember Windows 8.1 looking like this with the setup. This looks a bit odd. Okay, hi, while well, we're getting things ready, check out the new way to use Windows. I know how to use Windows, okay? Oh, it's this crap. <laughs> After your PC is ready, swipe in from any edge. Thanks, Windows. I, I think I know how to do that. It's just telling me how to use it. Maybe because this is a Surface, it's doing that. Ah, oh, that sounds about right. Move your mouse into any corner. Well, I don't have a mouse hooked up, so I can't do that. And I don't have the Surface keyboard for this, unless my Surface Pro 3 keyboard works on this, but I'm not sure if that keyboard works on it or not. I'd have to try it. And let's start. So here we are, guys. We got the OEM image successfully installed. So here we go. This looks a bit different. Is this Windows 8? Wait a sec. Whoops, I almost dropped it. No freaking way. It said Windows 8.1, but this is what it gave me. Really? It gave me Windows 8. No wonder it looked different. Microsoft, I thought this was Windows 8.1. What happened here? Am I able to even go to the system properties without... I might need to hook up a mouse to this because I cannot see what I'm doing right now. Hold on. We have a mouse hooked up because this is much easier for me. But let's take a look at our system properties here. We got Windows 8 Pro from 2012. We have our Windows Experience Index of a 5.6. That's nice. We have our i5-3317U at 1.70 gigahertz and 4 gigs of RAM, 64-bit OS. And we do have our Surface logo there, our Windows 8 logo. I don't know if it's activated. No, it's not because we have to connect to the internet. But we do have the OEM image on here. But for some reason, they gave us Windows 8 instead of... Oh, what? Did the freaking charger die? Why'd it shut down? Why'd you just do that? The freaking thing just died on me. My charger's not lighting up anymore. That's funny. Uh, it does not like me. Let me give it a minute. Maybe it's overheating and it shut down to protect itself because the device is pretty warm right now. So 
I am not sure what happened there, but like I eventually got it to turn back on. I don't know if my charger messed up. I don't know if it overheated, but it's back now. So that's kind of weird, but we do have our OEM image, which I mean, these devices from what I know did ship with Windows 8. So it makes sense that it's Windows 8, but I'm just confused that it said it was Windows 8.1 and it gave me this instead. I mean, I'm not complaining. I could update it, but huh? Unless I make this a Windows 8.0 device, because I know there is a way to get ESU still on Windows 8.0 to this day. So maybe I'll experiment and try that on here. Because honestly, I didn't know what I was going to do with this device yet. I kind of just got it because I wanted to have it in my collection and because I got a Surface RT as well from that lot. So I was able to get both tablets and I thought it was a pretty good deal and I just happened to get this along the side. But yeah, the battery is uh, not good anymore, unfortunately, because it says plugged in, not charging. I wonder if it just took too much voltage and it just shut off. You know, maybe the charger's not strong enough because I did hear that some chargers have more more wattage than others and that could be causing it to shut down perhaps. But anywho, this actually runs pretty good on here. Not gonna lie, this actually is pretty fast. Obviously, if you restore your Surface Pro, I mean, this procedure works with all surfaces, by the way, not just a Surface Pro, but I would recommend obviously updating Windows because the images are definitely not up to date. I mean, you could see what I just got here and you guys watched me do that. So um, yeah, and it was the same USB I just created on my computer. So go figure. Anyways, thanks for watching. That is how you restore the OEM image on the Surface Pro original version. It will work on other ones, as I said. So if you want to restore an image on any Surface device you have. Microsoft does give you that luxury of being able to re-download the OEM image, especially because this Surface did not come with the OEM image. It was just a stock Windows 10 install of some old build. I believe it was version 1607, which is obviously not ideal. That's a version from 2016. However, a ver I think a version from 2012 is a lot older in my opinion, but I can update it, so. Anywho, thanks for watching. I would like to also thank my channel members. Which are Samira Yoshizawa, The Full Moon, Christian1739, Overgreen, Destructic8, Sidevlogs, DJ1928, Dencorn, Cyclone, Caden, Aqua Husky WX, Ritu, Mike Rea, Chris Garrett, Zax Tech Place, Gazelle Edge, Suwon LEL, Rambos1234, CNNR, GRNWD, MCR, SMG4, Leo, Galaxy S9 Plus 2.0, Riley Burrell Tech, Gat Gaming, along with everyone else here on this list. I really appreciate you guys' support for being a channel member. It really means a lot to me. I have some good videos coming up soon, and thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Anyways guys, thanks for watching this video, hopefully you enjoyed it, and bye bye for now.